Hi folks, in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to define custom orientation in the mechanism. I will create simplifier assembly for the cylinder and it will be created based on the simplified model. Yeah, so first one you can specify it as default and second object what we would like to place here is the piston. Yeah, if you would like to place the piston you know that and it has to be mechanism so you have to specify the cylinder and then specify cylindrical surfaces and then you need to specify the orientation yes so for example you would like to orient if you do not know what is necessary to select select here in the placement tab you can see that this rotation so i'd like to align these two surfaces everything is correctly placed and then you would like to specify maximum minimum for the opening so translation axis you would like to specify and you can select simply two surfaces system will set the measurements you can choose and set the zero value and then set as zero what is great that you can specify the offset so for example maximum is 280 and as was, as was definite last time, you can specify maximum minimum value. So set your custom number and continue. I have set minimum limit minus 280 and maximum limit minus 5. What does it mean? It is not possible to move to outside. Yeah, so great. This is what I have been explaining to you in the previous tutorial. But I like to focus right now on the another definition. And we would like to place this mechanism into another assembly. So we will create new assembly. And in the new assembly it will be assembly 005, for example. Yeah. And I will place from the memory the cylinder assembly. And you know that is necessary to place somehow into assembly. So for now I will only place it. And I will switch on the all necessary information here. And what we need is some 3D model. For now, I don't want to create any 3D model. So it's good enough for the placement that I will create an axis. Please specify your custom orientation of the axis. Based on this axis, I will place this component. So if I will select the definition, you know, it is possible to specify again the placement here and the placement will be again as the pin connection because we would like to align the axis to axis what does it mean you can spin object and then i'd like to align the datum planes so we can specify the datum planes and right now everything is defined as we need and what is great that if i will come from ok everything is placed right now we would like to add here additional component so for example some small part so for example i will create the new 3d model and will be the q03 doesn't matter about the name and i will create some simplified extra features so for example like this and over here, let me think about, we can create simple rectangle. Yeah, for example, 500 is okay. And some dimensions, fine. Okay, so I will create something like this really quickly. And it's about the orientation. So this is the model, what we would like to use. And I will create over here a couple of feature quickly so full round on the one side and on the opposite side will be full round again and we would like to create some hole there so we need to use the and create axis one and then over over here axis two and again a couple of holes so we'll be different it like this only that you need to create something yeah so that's great and the thick depth is like this and control c control v and finalize 
Okay, this is the another component what we would like to place in the assembly. And this placement, if I will, would like to reuse, okay, we would like to place it somewhere here. So we can have a look where we will place this component. And I will create an offset datum plane. I only think about how I would like to show you. This is the grade. And the another placement will be, for example, here. So I will create a another definition. Okay, so right now what I would like to do is create an axis between these two objects and over here on this axis I'd like to place the component. So in the session is Q03 and okay it was a little bit bigger but okay fine. And again I will use the pin connection here. I think that you know what I would like to do. I'd like to move it a little bit in the middle and it will be fine. Okay, so everything is defined and what I would like to do is that I'd like to specify the custom angle. So if I will select the placement and rotation, I will specify the angle between this surface or between assembly this surface or datum plane to top surface, for example. It's a parallel, so it's OK. And I will set zero value. And this is my zero value. And I will set enable regeneration value. And this is the what I would like to show you today, that if you will specify enables regeneration value, and then, for example, you will specify maximum minimum. OK, you can set your custom value here. So, for example, maximum is 25, minimum is minus 25 and so on. So, but not necessary. I like to focus right now on the enable regeneration value. And my regeneration value is zero. So for now, you can see that my orientation is 14. But if I will finish and I will regenerate, the system will jump into zero. So it's always as I need. And for now, let me make some modification because I think that this is the really it will be much better like this yeah and what I need to do is that I'd like to connect right now these two objects all together so what does it mean that if I will select right now edit definition and I will create a new set and I will set the D as cylindrical surf as the cylinder only so I'd like to set between this surface I think that it will be better if I will use like this and it will be better to select surface what I really need okay control 2 and the system will do it back and you can see right now that system automatically move this piston and orient it so if I will right now finish and we can have a look what you can do is that if I will move with this component, yeah, everything works as we need. Yeah, maximum minimum. Yeah, so you can see maximum minimum is working for the piston, and this orientation is defined as it's need. But what is really really great, if you will regenerate model, again the angle between these two surfaces will be zero. So you can choose and run analysis and measure angle and you can see that angle between these two surfaces are definite as zero value. So over here in this example today I'd like to show you that you can create your custom mechanism for example for the cylinder and piston and then you can specify maximum and minimum for the opening and closing for example or going up and down or inside outside and then we have placed the another component and if I will select the definition in the placement tab was possible to set rotation axis and set regeneration value that your regeneration value is zero I'd like to thank you for the question and I hope so that you like this video tutorial so please 
we'll comment, make some additional ID into note in the video or buy me a coffee. Thank you and bye bye. Vladimir.